So guys, welcome back to another video and uh, this is episode 1 of my Flutter Beam video series that I have been planning for a long time. Flutter Beam is, it doesn't involve any programming or anything guys, it's more of a conversation between me and you guys, the watchers of this video. And we'll also uh, reply to some commonly asked questions in this channel. So uh, in this episode 1 of uh, my Flutter Beam series, what I'm going to discuss about is the commonly occurring thing. Uh, that is, if you notice, suddenly a large number of comparison videos between different uh, mobile application developments have started to pop up, right? A large, uh, people, anyone with the computer seems to have become an expert on different mobile application development frameworks and everyone is doing comparison videos all of a sudden. Even I am surprised about that and I decided to check out a few of those videos as well. Whoever is uploading those videos, if you look into their channel, all they have done so far is videos like this, that is, uh, a comparison between different frameworks, web application frameworks or mobile application frameworks, top 5 programming languages to learn in 2017, top 5 programming languages to learn in December 2017, top 5 programming languages to learn in first half of 2018, top 5 latest trending programming languages, how to make money using programming, how to get rich using programming, stuff like this. The thing is there are no uh, videos related to any sort of programming involving these frameworks but suddenly they are uh, making comparison between these frameworks i don't know how they are doing that anyway uh, i have played around with two mobile application development frameworks one is flutter and another one is ionic ionic i have been playing around with since its inception in 2014 with angular one that uh, that time angular one was the superstar and so uh, i started it uh, i started learning it and when ionic uh, came out I started uh, playing around with it as well. Flutter I recently started this year, start of this year, from the start of this year only I started learning uh, Flutter. So I thought uh, I'd rather, you know, put it in a better way uh, so that everyone who's looking forward to learn any of these frameworks can understand it in a better way. So uh, let's start with Ionic. Ionic is one of the most popular frameworks. If you look at my channel, I have done a large amount of videos on Ionic. Ionic framework. I'm a big fan boy of Ionic and uh, obviously my channel reflects that. So uh, how does Ionic apps work? You write applications using a uh, Angular framework that is primarily used for writing web applications. You write your applications using that and you bundle your applications using Apache Cordova. Uh, Apache Cordova what it does is that it throws up a web view inside your Android device and your entire web application that you wrote using angular will be running inside that web view so the end user when he looks it in his mobile he'll think that he is looking at a mobile application so basically you're tricking your end user to believe that it's a mobile application while in reality it's a web application that's why you are able to use css for designing and uh, uh, you know basically you're writing a web application and then using it as a mobile application that's it that's why it's called a hybrid application framework hybrid mobile application framework right so uh, this is ionic this is entirely ionic it uses apache cordova so far uh, recently they have brought out a new build system called capacitor and they claim that it can be used uh, to build uh, native applications let's see how that uh, uh, comes out as regards to flutter flutter on the other hand what it does is that uh, in simple terms if i wanted to explain how flutter runs your code what flutter uses a programming language called dart guys okay dart is open source uh, what it does is that everything is a widget okay everything you write in flutter is a widget and it has its own rendering engine which then renders all these widgets and throws it up on the screen so when you compile your code your entire code is compiled into a native arm library and what this, li this library is taken and uh, put inside an Android project and this entire thing is bundled as an APK file. So when you install that APK file and launch your application, your application gets launched from that particular library that uh, you created using Dart. You, uh, you are not creating that library, the compiler does that, but you are writing the code using Dart, right? So uh, in essence, it's nothing but it runs exactly like a native application. This is how all the game engines work, okay? So uh, th this is one of the reasons why it's able to provide constant 60 frames per second 
uh, when you run the application, uh, all the Flutter apps, they provide constant 60 frames per second animations. And this is how the smoothness also uh, is available when you use Flutter for writing your web application. And this is one of the primary reasons why Flutter shot up in popularity in such a short span of time. Short, short. Okay, this is the other shot. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is how Flutter works. So now that you know how Flutter and how Ionic works, you might actually, you yourself can compare and contrast the differences and pick the framework of your choice for writing your uh, mobile application. Both have advantages and disadvantages. So uh, if I start explaining about the advantages of Ionic over Flutter, then obviously this video will become a very long video as well. As similarly vice versa, if I start explaining the advantages of Flutter over Ionic, once again, uh, this video will become a very long one. So this is how applications, I mean, both these frameworks run your code uh, as a, try to run your code as a mobile application, guys. I hope I have given you an insight on how these frameworks work. Uh, yeah, that's the first part of our show. The second part is I'd like to give a shout out to a couple of uh, good Flutter articles that I found, uh, that I tried this week. So uh, when I started this channel, I mean, uh, when I started this channel, I uh, vowed to myself that when I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'll automatically start promoting other people's content as well on this channel so that they get good exposure as well. So, uh, you know, keeping up my promise, I'm going to give a shout out to two of the good articles that I found uh, this week. Number one, medium clap animation in flutter this is by a guy called karthik sharma a developer called karthik sharma and uh, this is one of the articles that i tried out this week it was really excellent and uh, uh, he describes step by step on how to uh, do this clap animation that you will get uh, in medium if you had read any article in medium which is the Home, which has somehow become the home ground of all articles, all technical, especially articles related to technology. Uh, you'll see that there is a clap button at the end. This even is a medium article, I think. See, you see this clap button, right? When you tap on this, if I sign in and tap on this, you will automatically see such an animation. So uh, this uh, developer explains how to do this animation in a clean and precise way in this article. And I tried it out and it works really good uh, on a mobile device. So shout out to this guy and uh, I'll leave a link to this article in the description below as well. The next thing I wanted to show you guys is this Flutter slideable package. This is a really cool thing that I came across and I tried it out and it works perfectly guys. That is, uh, you already probably saw the lists video I made on this channel, right? Uh, and each and every item in that list is a list tile. Okay. You can simply slide those tiles to reveal action buttons. That's it. It's a simple thing, but it provides a lot of, uh, it opens up a lot of possibilities while dealing with the lists, right? So I thought this would be rather useful for a lot of guys and I decided to uh, show this on this video as well. I'll add a link to this GitHub repository as well in the description of this video. So shout out to these two well-written Flutter packages. That's what I would say. Mm, yeah. So drop a comment, drop a comment or opinion on this uh, video as well so that I can improve the forthcoming episodes of this uh, Flutter Beam show. So yeah guys, thanks for watching the Maiden episode. Uh, as a gift, if you are, if you have watched till now, as a gift, uh, I'll drop a couple of free coupons in the, for my uh, Flutter course in the description below. You can make use of these coupons and then uh, access my Flutter course free of charge. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.